Hey guys, it's Jay Blue, and today I'm going to do a review on Poison Ivy from the DC Supergirl Starline from Mattel. I found her in my local Target, and she looks really pretty when I found her, and she is one of my favorite characters from the web series, so let's get started in the review. So starting with the box, you can see Poison Ivy in display, with Superhero High School in the background, and here's her student ID card in the back. Now on the bottom corner, you can see Poison Ivy's beautiful artwork, with her name and her Golden Ivy symbol on the bottom. On the sides, you can see some star decor leading up to the DC Supergirls logo. On the side of the box, you see a close-up of Poison Ivy with her name on the sides. And her Golden Ivy Leaves symbol on the bottom. And here is the back of the box, and you can see Poison Ivy's beautiful close-up artwork. Whoever did the artwork did a really great job on, on this. She looks really pretty. I really love it. Saving the world for the plans of supervillains isn't easy, especially not to rush home right after work to stay for a big test in Hero Knox. But that's just a day in the life of a student at Superior High, a school where you not only learn how to control and master your awesome powers, but also the value of teamwork and the importance of being comfortable in your own super skin. Fortunately, your classmates know exactly what you're going through as every student there is trying to figure out how to be a superhero and a super friend. That's a cool message. Alright, here is a short bio of Poison Ivy. She's from Gotham City. She is shy, awkward, and reclusive. She feels more at home in the greenhouse than the classroom. Her super best friend is Harley Quinn, just like from Batman series. Favorite class is Horticulture for Heroes. Superpowers include genius level intellect, toxic touch, the ability to summon and control plants, and her super accessories are flowers, trees, shrubs, vines, and any plant life that is near her. And here are the all dolls to collect. There's Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, Harley Quinn, and Bumpy. It says doll stand alone, which is a new feature, so no dolls included, so I can't wait to try it out. There's the DC Supergirls logo, and there's the website, and there's Instagram and Facebook to follow them on social media. And here's a side clear view of the box, and there's the logo, and more starry decor. Okay. I'll be right back to Box Poison Ivy to give you guys a better look at this natural beauty. Here's Poison Ivy out of the box. Starting with her student ID card, it's holographic. And it says DC Superior Girls Superhero High School. Here's her picture looking shy but cute at the same time. It says Poison Ivy, superpowers, genius level intellect, and summons and controls plants. On the back of the card, it says Poison Ivy, aka Ivy, is a genius when it comes to the biology of plants. Being shy and far more comfortable with the plants than people, Ivy spends most of her time in the Superhero High greenhouse. While she has the power to control plants, they can sometimes get out of hand. Superpowers, genius level intellect, and summons and controls plants. DC Superhero Girls dot com by DC Comics. Great. So that's it for our ID card. Here is Poison Ivy looking gorgeous and green. And even though these dolls don't come in stands, the best part of these dolls, they are made to stand on their own if you position well, which is an awesome feature. And even though she's technically a villain, if you look into a different perspective, she uses her plants to you know to protect nature and the environment. And it's really interesting how they made Poison Ivy to a hero in this line, so yeah. It's new, but interesting. So starting with her hair, it's red with some orange highlights. And she's wearing a clip-on rose and vine accessory, which is attached to her hair, which is very cute. And she has light green eyes and rosy pink lipstick. And she has a light green vine accessory, which she can use to summon her plants, or to stop enemies in her tracks, which is cool. And she's wearing a very beautiful outfit. The top part is a dress, which is see-through green with some vines, leaves, and roses on it. And she's wearing a light green belt with some leaves and vines with a rose in the middle. And a light green jumpsuit. And she's wearing really awesome shoes, which kind of reminds me of Ash and Ella's shoes from Ever After High and V's McFly Trap shoes from Monster High. Which I think Mattel did a nice job including that detail to Poison Ivy. She has some vines and leaves wrapped around her legs. And it's just connected to light green ballet flats with some leaves molded on the tip of the shoes. Okay. Overall, it's a very nice doll. I really love how they incorporate Poison Ivy into the doll line and making her to her hero. And yeah, I suggest adding her to your collection. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.